your AI code is 58% broken. That's not an opinion. That's literally what the benchmarks show. It doesn't matter if you're using Cloud Sonnet 4.5 or GPT-5 or maybe Gemini 2.5 Pro. More than half of your code just doesn't work. This is the problem with all sort of AI code editors. And to fix this issue, I was looking for a tool that could analyze the code which is generated by AI and then find and fix the issues and bugs so you can deploy bugs-free code. So I found this tool. It's called TestSprite. This is an AI agent that tests and fixes and validates your code. This tool can directly work with your AI code editor like Cursor, Windsurf, or Cloud Code, or any other AI code editor that you're using. So we are going to test this AI agent inside Cursor. I have already opened a project inside Cursor, and this project right now is running on localhost. So this is an AI thumbnail generator application that I just created using Google AI Studio, and it uses a Gemini API key. I have not yet provided an API key, but what I am going to do, I'm going to ask Cursor to run a front-end testing for this project and find any potential bugs and issues. And then we'll see how Test Sprite will perform. And later on, we'll ask Test Sprite to fix all of the issues that it will find. So to start using Test Sprite, just go to testsprite.com or just click on the link in description. And after that, you can simply just sign in into your account. The good news is you can use this tool absolutely for free. And even if you want to upgrade to the pro plan, you can use the pro plan absolutely for free for $0 for the first month. So I think you can just upgrade to the starter plan. This should be more than enough for you to like conduct test for your multiple projects. Once you're signed in, this is the dashboard that you'll see. But what we are going to do, we are going to set up a MCP server for test sprite inside cursor. So if you just go to this MCP test section and in here, if you just click on this quick install button, just simply click on this create a key. And now you can just create an API key, simply just click on new API key, just give this API key a name. I will just give this API key tutorial, click on create. And now you can just copy this API key from here. Next step is now you need to install this MCP server on your favorite IDE. In my case, I'm using cursor. If you're using cloud code, you can install it there. If you're using any other IDE, you can just like use this code, just copy it from here and then replace your API key and then just paste this code in your favorite AI code editor. So just like that, simply your MCP server will be installed. But in case of cursor, you can simply just click on this add to cursor. Simply just click on that, it will just open cursor. I have already installed this MCP server, but this is what it will show. So what you're going to do, you can simply just paste that API key that you just copied from there, from test sprite dashboard. You can just paste that API key in here and then just click on this install button. You can see this test sprite MCP server is already installed in here. That's amazing. Now we can just go ahead and we can ask cursor to conduct a front end testing for this project and then we'll see what it does. So this is my simple prompt and I'm going to just press enter. And now let's just see how cursor uses test sprite MCP server to conduct front end testing for a project and we'll see what it does. Now it wants me to run this command. So I'll just simply click on run button. And now it has just opened this page in here on localhost and, and it is asking for some stuff. So first of all, we are going to do the front end testing. That's great. And secondly, scope is code base. That's amazing. Okay, test account. There is no account required to test my project because there is no authentication system so far. And secondly, the port and also the path, everything. I'll just like leave it as it is. Next thing that it actually needs from me is the product specification document. If you have a product specification document for your project, that's great. If you don't have that, you need to create one. If you have no idea what is your product specifications document, you can just simply ask cursor to create product specification document for this project. Cursor will create that for you. Otherwise, if you already have one, that's great. If you don't have, you can just like ask cursor while your project is opened. So based on your project, cursor will actually create a product specification document. So in my case, I have this document that I just created using Gemini. So this is a detailed product specification document. So what I'll do, I'll just provide that document in here. I will simply just drag it. You can see upload successful. The page will close automatically. I can simply just click on OK. And now let's just go back to cursor. And now you can see cursor has detected our input. Now I can simply just click on run and cursor can run that command. Now it is asking me to run again. I'll simply just click on run button once again. Okay, so it has been a few minutes and the testing is still going on. So if I just go back to my dashboard on test sprite and inside this dashboard, if you just go to this MCP test section, simply just go there and here you can find all of your recent tests. So this one is our most recent test. And here you can see in total, it conducted 14 tests 
and out of those 14 tests only one test passed and two tests are still in progress if i just click on this let's suppose first one and now you can see it has a screen recording like proper screen recording of our project so basically it is doing the front end testing and it is doing like it is recording everything for every single test so this particular one was image upload with sported formats so because this project had a lot of bugs a lot of issues so that's why i used this project to test test sprite so now you can see let's suppose this second test in here it is going to just click on this upload with unsupported formats so similarly you can just have a look at all of these tests in here let me just have a look at one test which was passed so let me just click on this this one is button component loading and styling states if i just click on this now let me just play it so now we can see the button components so it is loading so yeah it passed this test so that's perfect now i think all of the tests are already conducted you can see only one passed and 13 failed so that is bad so now what we can do we can just like go back to cursor so right now you can see i'm here inside cursor so we can just come back to cursor and here we can ask it to just like fix all of these issues that it has found using test sprite so now i can ask it please fix all of the issues that test sprite mcp tool has found in this project now i'll just press enter now let's just see if cursor can actually one by one fix all of these issues and that will be just amazing so you can see these are the key issues that it identified the first one was image upload not triggering the file dialog the second one was generate button state login incorrect then there was third one which was unsupported file types so it has just listed all of the issues that test sprite found and now it is going to fix all of these issues one by one okay perfect it has just implemented all of these fixes it has made changes in code wherever it was required so now you can see all of the errors are fixed one by one and our code is updated and all of those errors are fixed now it has also mentioned that some tests may still fail if they rely on headless browser file dialogs which is an environment limitation not a code issue the file selection via playwrights set input files should work so yeah that upload file was actually more like environment issue rather than like actual project issue so if you're developing something really important and you cannot risk bugs and issues in your production code so make sure to conduct testing using test sprite so you can avoid bugs and issues in your production deployment if you have any further questions just leave your comments in the comment section and i see you next video bye bye